And so the feedback we got after several conversations was like, Paul, we just don't have time. We're not going to do it. We're not, we're not going to, we're not going to log into the dashboard. We're not going to spend the time to try to find the different things that you can show us really quickly. So I said, okay, now I'm putting all this together and I'm thinking, well, what if we just allowed you to be able to ask Alexa to do it? Like, then would you do it? Ask Data Driven Design is, I'll tell the quick story behind this. So we've traditionally been a web design and development and digital marketing company. And the data, as you saw in the first slide, has been showing us for a long time that we need to get into the voice space. We need to be a leader in building voice-based apps. And so one way we thought of being able to do this would be to look at the different services that we offer, talk to some of our clients and stakeholders, and understand like what would save you time, uh, what would be a service that we could provide for you as a value add in addition to what we're already doing for you. And the number one thing that we do, I think, that other web design and development companies don't do as much as we do, is we look at Google Analytics. And we let Google Analytics really determine a lot of different decisions that need to be made around web design and digital marketing decisions. <clears throat> so our clients love Google Analytics. They love when we explain to them what everything means in Google Analytics. And that's all great. And, but what we try to help them with is what are the top four to six things that you can look into Google Analytics yourself, maybe 30 minutes a month, and then you can get more than just what we're telling you all the time. So we're trying to, since Google Analytics is a free tool, we're trying to help them extend their knowledge base beyond just, you know, and scale that beyond just what we can tell them. And so the feedback we got after several conversations was like, Paul, we just don't have time. We're not going to do it. We're not, we're, not gonna, we're not gonna log into the dashboard. We're not gonna spend the time to try to find the different things that you can show us really quickly. So I said, okay, now I'm putting all this together and I'm thinking, well, what if we just allowed you to be able to ask Alexa to do it? Like, then would you do it? And they were like, yes, because then we wouldn't have to log in, like, not know what we're looking at, and then try to find these different things. We don't remember what you told us to look for and all that stuff. So we took, the, basically we started with the top four questions that we knew everyone would want to ask about their web traffic, aligned with what we always taught them, what we always tell them about when we have them face to face, same four questions. And we've since added two questions to that and then we just voice enabled that. So that was the earlier screen where I showed you linking, account linking with Google Analytics one time now allows anyone who has access to our Ask Data Driven Design skill to get data from their Google Analytics account. So it's like this. Alexa, ask Data Driven Design how my web traffic is doing. Which site should we look at? GeorgeJones.com. Your web traffic for HTTP colon slash slash georgejones.com slash georgejones has increased 24% this month compared to last year at this time. You have acquired 15,000 users this month versus 12,134 this Alexa, month stop. last year. You could say Alexa launch data-driven design. Okay, let's talk web data. What would you like to know about your web data? And then this is where you might not remember what the questions are, so she'll tell you, like, things you can mm -hmm. ask me include. And then there's other questions that we've at, added. You can ask me include. Is my web traffic up or down? Where is most of my web traffic coming from? What are my top viewed pages? Alexa, stop. So we've added e-commerce tracking and goal completion tracking to make it a little bit more of like a business intelligence dashboard for voice so that I think that's another thing that uh, businesses spend a lot of time on trying to understand, like looking at our Salesforce CRM, looking at you know our Facebook ads data, and all these different places. And so to be able to just voice enable all of that and focus on the key metrics, I think was a good a good concept for us.